it is Marco, Texas Gal Treasures, and welcome to Triple T Tuesday, where I talk about technology, tutorials, and different tips to improve your online business. All right, so today we are talking mistakes. So I'm going to share with you five of the biggest mistakes that I made when I started my eBay business. I've been selling on eBay now for about four years and I made some pretty significant mistakes along the way that I wish I had not made. I wish I had taken more time to do some research before I got started so I could have avoided some of these very painful mistakes. Before I jump in, I know that I'm sharing with you Etsy listings. The reason that I'm sharing my Etsy listings is because on eBay, after a certain length of time, older listings that are sold or not there anymore drop off so you don't have access to that older information, where on Etsy, they keep it all. So for good, bad, and ugly, here we go. The first and one of the biggest, biggest issues that I had trouble with when I first started on eBay was shipping. One of the things about shipping that really got me was just knowing how to package things. This beautiful Capa de Monte terrine was destroyed and I am completely fessing up. It was my fault because I was a novice. This sold back, I mean this was early, 2013 when I was just getting started. I did not package this correctly and it broke. So Definitely, if you are new, figure out what size box you're going to need. Figure out how to wrap things and package them safely so that they get to the buyer safely. <laughs> yeah, so make sure you've got everything on hand or before you list it, know how you're planning on shipping this. Do I have a box big enough? Do I have bubble wrap? How am I going to do this? You know, not getting a box from the grocery store last minute to shove it in, you know, because you're starting a business and you want to present yourself in a professional way. So make sure you've ordered some free priority boxes from the Postal Service. I have a, a link up here on how to do that. And if you're shipping things first class, make sure you've got all the materials you need to get those things out safely. So again, using my Etsy listings because they go back far enough for me to show you my mistakes, but these are the same eBay Etsy because I cross post. Again, it's another shipping mistake. Make sure you are charging correctly for your shipping. Now, sometimes I overcharged and customers are not happy when that happens. Sometimes I undercharged and ended up losing money because I didn't know how to properly weigh and package the items to send out. I didn't, I didn't even know the difference between priority and first class. So make sure you know how much it's going to cost you to send these items out. Decide in advance whether you want to do free shipping or not. I personally don't do free shipping and I don't necessarily recommend it for new sellers because there's so much room for error there. You would really have to make sure your price was high enough to cover those shipping charges. I'm going to link some of my videos about shipping right up here so if you are interested you can go check out how to ship your items carefully and efficiently. So these are some of the things that I totally messed up on with my shipping. This behemoth cost way more to ship than I charged. So let's take a look at my receipt. So I charged $7 and again, this is dropped off so I can't see how much it costs to ship it. I made so many mistakes on this listing. We won't even get started with all of them, but let's just focus on the shipping one. So I charged $7 for shipping on this radio and it probably cost double that. So I definitely ate into my profit on not charging enough for the shipping. Same thing here. Again, there are tons of errors with my listing, things that I could have done better. But again, I did not charge enough for shipping. On this one, I charged zero for shipping and $5 total. So I was barely making any money at all after shipping and fees and everything else. And finally, these buttons. All right, take a look at what I charged for these buttons. The buttons cost two dollars I charged a buck fifty for shipping so it pro oh look it's I, it, I didn't charge enough which you know it's not too far eating into already my teeny tiny little profit again I'll link those shipping videos up above so that you can take a look at them so the third mistake that I made as a new eBay Etsy seller was my photography it was abysmal it was 
horrible. I mean, everything that people say don't do, I did. <laughs> so here we go. Again, this is what, this is probably 2013. Yep, 2013. I'm taking the pictures on the carpet. I mean, my hands are in the, in the photographs. They're dark. They're just not awesome at all. So, okay. Oh, I didn't have my hands in this one. Whew. <laughs> but the, here, I'll show you some more. <laughs> Let's just move on. So here's another one on the carpet. Don't take pictures on the carpet. Yeah. I mean, just, oh, there's my hand. Okay. At least it's just a little bit in there. I mean, they're a little bit blurry. You can kind of barely read it. Thank goodness you don't see any stains on my carpet. Photography. Okay. Last one. Look at this. <laughs> How this sold. So this was a rose, like preserved rose. Yeah, so this is a preserved rose. I think this is maybe my pants <laughs> that I'm holding it up against. And my, there's my hand. And here we have a, a lovely clear photograph of this preserved rose. What do we have? Maybe this is the side of my couch and there's the floor. And I mean, it's, it's upside down. I mean, come on. Yep, that's it. I have come a long way with my photography and I'm a firm believer that a picture tells a thousand words. And if you take a good enough picture, it can sell your item. I really think that the buyer sees the item. Sometimes they don't even know that they want it, but they that picture almost makes them hungry, especially when it comes to like jewelry and things like that. You can take a picture that is so nice. And, and I use my phone. So if you have an iPhone or any kind of phone, phone cameras nowadays are just amazing to take pictures with. I have some videos that I'll link up here in a playlist for different ways to take pictures, how to brighten them up, how to edit them to make them look spot on. I just wanted to give you a quick example of the photography that I do now as opposed to the photography I did then. So this is a picture of an item that I took just recently. Way better. <laughs> so the fourth big mistake that I made when I started off selling on eBay and Etsy was downplaying the flaws. I was so focused on getting those first few sales that I didn't want to tell people what was wrong with the items and therefore just didn't put it in my description because I was worried that the item wouldn't sell if I said it's got a little crack or there's a little chip. So I was really vague in my descriptions. Uh, let me show you a few. I mean, you can see some of the flaws in the, in the pictures, but you want to make sure that you get the flaws written in your description. So here, you know, just imagine the conversations they may have. Oh my goodness. I didn't say anything about condition on these things. Here I've got this vintage strawberry shortcake. The picture's actually okay for what was this 2013? It is on my windowsill, but hey, it, it's not too bad. But, but anyway, look, she's in amazing condition. I never put that. I don't, I don't care if it's brand new in box. I never put it's amazing, perfect condition anymore. I always say something like, you know, slight wear to the box or, you know, there's, I find something to say. I would much rather under promise and over deliver on items and have the person get it and it's in better shape than I described. And then finally this doll, I mean, she sold, she's awesome. But again, I, I didn't say anything about any of the scuffs or the condition issues at all. Her joints are in excellent working order. Her head is lovely, but that's it. Nothing, nothing at all said about scuffs or scrapes or marks or discoloration. See, I see some discoloration there. Mm -mm. So definitely make sure you get all of the condition issues on there. Again, under promise, over deliver. Believe me, you want to make sure that you've listed everything because especially as a new seller, you'll be looking at items not as described or returns. And those are a whole new ball game dealing with unhappy customers. I mean, it's a great education, but it's definitely not something that you want to have happen because of any fault of yours. It's going to happen, but you want to make sure you've got yourself covered as much as you can. I'm going to link some videos up above sharing with you how I do my listings from start to finish. So hopefully you can avoid some of the mistakes that I made when I was starting out. My last confession is just pure, purely my own ignorance. Don't sell knockoffs. Don't list knockoffs. Now I knew this as far as like knockoff purses and, and things like that, but I listed a Chanel brooch and I knew it was a knockoff. I listed it as such. I said, this is a faux Chanel knockoff brooch, blah, 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 you know, and I mean, eBay was on it like that, like a, like a deck on a June bug. They, they were on it and I got this message. I even think I got like a three day suspension and I thought, well, why not? I, I said it was a fake. I said it was faux. Nope. Nope. 
I, went, I, I wasn't trying to mislead anybody. Nope, nope, not okay, not okay. I fully, fully get it now. But at the time when I was starting out, I didn't get it. I, I'm like, I'm saying it's a fake. What's wrong with that? You know, but no, it's not okay. <laughs> Don't do it. So it is not worth your account. It is not worth a suspension or being completely kicked off. If you get too many of these, you'll, it's, you're done. Make sure that you are not selling knockoffs. Even if you say they're knockoffs, it's still not okay. If you are new or just getting started on eBay, I hope you could learn from some of my mistakes and not repeat them. And whether you're a new or a seasoned veteran on eBay, leave me a comment down below letting me know what are some of the mistakes you made. Everybody's made them. If you are new here, welcome. I'd love to have you subscribe. My channel's all about making and saving money and thrifty and frugal living. If you know someone that's starting out on eBay, share this video with them so that they don't make the same mistakes I did. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Treasures, and welcome to Triple T Tuesday, where I talk about tutorials, tips, and something else. What was it? Tutorials? Technology. Derg. Ha, ha, ha.